Meanwhile, there are new developments involving the La Jolla restaurant owner ordered to stand trial on suspicion of sexually assaulting eight women. Today, 10 News confirmed that Daniel Dorado is out of jail. 10 News reporter Jennifer De La Cruz spoke to some business owners nearby who are still shaken by these allegations. Jen. Well, Lindsay, this patio used to be full of tables and chairs just like any other restaurant, but instead for months it's been locked up and completely empty. And I spoke to some of the alleged victims on the phone today. They didn't want to go on camera, but they say, of course, they are very worried tonight and not happy that he's out of jail. The Voce del Mar restaurant is still closed, but the owner is now out of jail. Daniel Dorado released overnight after sitting behind bars for six months on charges of sexually assaulting women at that restaurant in La Jolla. Businesses in that tight-knit community are still digesting the horrific details. We were shocked, yes, of course, because you know you have somebody living next door and this is happening to these women. That could be your niece or someone that you know. Rose Sims owns a women's boutique next door. She says two women who applied to work at Dorado's restaurant came into her store. She felt kind of strange because the way he wanted to do the interview late at night. And uh, so they know that's disconcerting that there was more people. A story similar to what eight women say happened to them. Ten News sat down with some of the victims who say they were sexually assaulted, including one woman who says she was drugged and raped when she came in for an interview. Other victims who worked there say Dorado frequently offered them drinks on the job and asked some of the women to send him pictures of themselves before their shifts. A total of 27 charges against the accused rapist who's back in the community tonight. I mean, we should still be talking about it, especially now if he is out. Like, is he going to come? You know, we don't know. Although he's out of custody, there are restraining orders against him for his alleged victims. If convicted, he could face up to 32 years in prison. Now, Dorado has a hearing set for November, and his trial is scheduled to begin in February. Reporting in La Jolla, Jennifer Dela Cruz, 10 News. All right, Jen, thank you. For